How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to more of our Outworld series. Okay, so. Sorry. We have got some level ups to do. So that's. Up them. I'm like, I think we're going to go for like a nice, well rounded character. Shall I reduce the weight of consumables? These have got some levels. Resense companion, increased damage dealt by his companion's ability. Probably the same for him. Yeah. Right. I think we're done in How much money do we have? I don't think we have enough money to buy that Oh that is a quest We checked this place though and we didn't see anything that Alerted us So let's go check it again I suppose What are we missing? Oh, the bag. Stuffed into a suitcase. Oh, here we go. Investigate left field toss ball betting. Okay. Next, next one. face wow you must be up on all the latest toss ball games so who do you follow wait don't tell me you look like a hammersmith thunder fan no glacial age mammoths uh they're all pretty good uh not here to chat about teams that's a shame toss ball is just about the only good news we get around here when our frequency is not too clogged up anyway so what can i do for you I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might happen to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Cut to the chase. Do you know who did it or not? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over toss ball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Okay. Let's go see if they're over there. Sounds like rats in here. Oh, it does work. How do we get there? Thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Oh God, what's the problem? Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Your child is missing. Where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders with toxic sulfur pools and poisonous glands, but he didn't listen. Oh, oh, Captain. 
A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? I hope you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Okay. Let me figure out how we, uh... Oh, here we go. Who the fuck are... Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. You basically just and confirmed not that it. It's any of your business. Intimidate, I'm making my business. Oh, yeah? What are you saying exactly? Intimidate, you bring people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine, we're going. This ain't worth it. So long, suckers. What do you think you're doing? Just don't give me any trouble, all right? Incoming. Just Hold on, Dad! <laughs> Whoa. I mean, they're bad people, so. I don't see why I was getting in trouble for stealing. They're bad. They killed first. Uh, talk to Sanja. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Why in the architect's name would you say? A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, Oz Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? Take care of the killers are dead. That means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Something to be said for that. Sometimes you gotta take matters into your hand. Maybe I could have got those statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. I met Grim, the London Pad Guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Uh, he did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Um, I have questions about Emerson in the good old days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. How did Emerson get off the board in the first place? I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Do you mean that you initiated your removal from the board? Not intentionally. Though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. Terra 1 and Terra 2. I see the board put their best people on that one. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were mixed. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. The not MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. And how did that work out? Most regard Monarch as a lost cause. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions. To reform MSI from the ground up. Um, Reforms are for quitters, Sanja. Nonsense! They're good business sense. 
Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. I hope you'd treat them nice, whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being a community means. Treating people right, because it's the right thing to do. Ms. Holcomb is our endlessly optimistic crew hand. It's good for the captain's morale. Mm -hmm. A noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. I take your Alicia didn't embrace your ideas. No, they laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Yeah, here you are. Yes. Some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. That's a lot even for them. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Um, Why exactly do you want to be back on the board? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Without the board, chaos would overtake the system. Working within the established order isn't a principle to snub one's nose at, Captain. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community, and being cut off means slow strangulation. They treat you pretty roughly. Is it worth going back to that? I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Good few, force them to the bargaining table. I've discovered it's much easier to negotiate from a position of power. And I don't mean to leave MSI or its people at a disadvantage. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Okay. What can I do for you? That's it. All right. Um. Look for Tucker. Be with Valmer in the warehouse. Mr. Max, and you were our vicar. Yes. But as I've repeatedly said, I was assigned there as a vicar. I was not a prisoner. I just can't believe you'd lie. I was not lying. It had no bearing on my ability to minister to my flock and was therefore not worth mentioning. How do we end her? Oh, here we go. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Ooh, damn. Uh, Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if she'd run you a hat like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Um, I'm here to ask your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Uh, he'll come back when you can't contain a... Constrain a person's freedom. I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. 
Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Yeah, um, hit us about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Oh, damn. Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. He says about the money? Damn right it is. You're just giving Grimm's poster away. Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So oh, okay. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Uh, sure you worse than Nell? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's off. You won't do much business if your names hate you. Consider this an investment. I got a feeling you and Catherine would get on like tumors on a pig. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. You said Braxton has been stealing drugs. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. Well, how nice are you not saying anything? We're not like those corporate hounds where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Okay. Oh, we got a level up. That was a fast one. Okay. Right, we got the poster. Wait. Where is that guy? But how do I get out? Oh, there we go. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Give him it. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Thanks. Hey, we're level 17 now. Right. Let's... Let's go talk to Braxton. Is 
There he is. Oh no, wait. I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Trade. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? That's what I needed. Poor fella. Hope he's okay. We should hurry, Captain. Shadowy figure. Okay, we're not going out there yet. If see Sebastian Adam. Oh. You look like a man. They're upstairs. There they are. New face, huh? You from off world? Yep, Captain Trepido, the unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. We need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, Velma's trying to place you with sublight contractors. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. And he's just about to put pressure on Valma to negotiate. If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her. But we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. Well, you said, what's this about blackmail? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. What are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Good luck with that. Why, thank you. Our super... We won't... Right. Oh, God. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh-huh. I think they're watching the same... Right, where's the... Wells. Thinks there could be leverage here somewhere. Ah. Dang. Did we not read all these? Oh, here we go. Uh, Brassinets are filled with such a breeding chart. That was just a moral. He has been slowly softening money. Oh, she actually has. Can we go talk to her? Can we mention them to her about it. Those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap. Frederick Holstead. Hmm? Got my sight. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just... Your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. 
Anyway, what do you folks need? Um, talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Caleb says they need a race keeper with the prices around her. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. Why can't you give him his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I saw your accounts. You've been skimming money for years. You can afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? Ironic, isn't it? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. Intimidate 20, and what do you think Sanja will say to that? Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? This is Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Okay, let's go tell them the good news. Whoa, support. Need to get down the other end though. Okay, we'll go tell them that we got their raise. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Can you talk about Velma? Sure thing. Uh, you've got your Velma was embezzled by him. She agreed upon your wages in exchange for my silence. Well, I'll be a Raptodon's dinner. Reckon I ought to listen to gossip more often. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Thank you. Off you go, people get back to work. Right, I think. Other than buying that, we are for the most part done in the actual town. So, guys, we'll leave this episode here. If you enjoyed it, remember that like button, subscribe. It's pretty good. It's a beautiful day, and bye bye.